after that, we got we had a wedding on our anniversary. Mm. I just didn't want. I felt like the world was always all in my. I just wanted to do it my way. Globe nominee Fantasia Barino, along with others, attended the screening for their movie, The Color of Purple, just yesterday. If you've been a fan of soul sensation Fantasia Burino or Fantasia Taylor, you may have already caught a glance of two of her former North Carolina residences. Back in 2013, she gave up ownership of her massive 6,600 square foot custom mansion, which was a pond front property boasting scenic views of a beautiful lake and golf course. Despite that, Fantasia still had another lavish retreat to lean on, a four bedroom, 4,600 square foot luxury home just over two miles away. While slightly smaller, this two-story brick residence featured a screened-in porch with marble tiled floors and a wooden roof, overlooking lush half-acre grounds with rolling trees and greens. Inside, the property offered a music room, a vibrant pink walk-in closet the size of a bedroom, a master bath with a sauna, and much more. While Fantasia sold this home later on in 2018 at a bit of a loss, according to her Instagram, we can see she's still living in North Carolina in an absolutely stunning home, arguably nicer than the two she moved on from. Fantasia Taylor appears to be living the family life of her dreams alongside her husband, Kendall Taylor, and her children. And today we will be taking an exclusive look. Hey everyone, it's Kara, and if you want to see more of what I've been up to in my free time, then check out my new DIY account, Fix It With Kara. I would love to connect with you all over there. Fantasia Barino, the lead actress in the recently adapted stage to screen version of The Color Purple, has opened up about the challenges she found after rising to fame on American Idol. You may remember when Fantasia won the third season of American Idol back in 2004, three years before her Broadway debut in The Color Purple. But she remembered the hardships she went through in a recent interview with People. She said, it wasn't easy, I lost a lot, I lost everything. Aside from financial struggles, Fantasia also faced a 2006 lawsuit from her father over his portrayal in her memoir, Life is Not a Fairy Tale, and a 2010 incident involving an overdose of aspirin sleep aids. Many of these challenges came from her lack of experience in the music and entertainment industry. Fantasia Asia continued, you have to become a businesswoman and you link up with great business partners, but it doesn't have a lot to do with love. It took me a long time to figure that out. Fantasia was only 19 when she won American Idol, and since then, she's evolved immensely. Now the mom of three also stars in a film that achieved the second biggest Christmas Day theatrical opening in history. Despite the tough times, she acknowledges the valuable lessons learned. She added, I'm grateful for it if I didn't go through through that I wouldn't be the woman that I am today. Fantasia brings the same authenticity and passion she shows on stage and screen into her home. Her commitment to her family and the strength she draws from her loved ones add another layer to her blessed and successful life. Her journey through relationships, marriage, and motherhood mirrors the authenticity that fans adore in her music. In 2005, Fantasia's life took a big turn when she welcomed her first child, a daughter named Zion, into the world. While at the time the young star was only 17, this shaped her into the devoted and passionate mother she is today. Later in 2011, Fantasia welcomed her son Dallas. Fantasia's love story with businessman Kendall Taylor is a tale of newfound happiness. In 2015, the pair exchanged vows in a private ceremony, and Kendall's been a pillar of strength in Fantasia's life. In 2021, the couple welcomed their only child together, daughter Kezia London Taylor. Fantasia often shares glimpses of her family life on social media, offering fans a heartfelt view into moments of love, laughter, and togetherness. Now, let's rewind back a bit to where Fantasia was living shortly after she found her idol success. Fantasia once lived in a large mansion, located in Charlotte, North Carolina, which she ultimately let go of in 2013. This 6,600 square foot pond front home was set in the Glenmore Lakes development in the Piper Glen community. And this was the same mansion featured on MTV Cribs back in the day. Remember that show? This neighborhood was an exclusive development with custom estate homes, beautiful lake, and golf course views. Welcome to North Carolina. This is my house. I'm Fantasia. You guys, come on in. I'm just hanging out with my family.
Walking in, there was an epic double height entryway with winding stairs as well as five beds and five baths throughout. Property records show Barino acquired the home in 2007 for $1.3 million and attempted to sell it for 800K, but that didn't work out unfortunately. Fantasia had a music room here with a piano and nearby a living room with double height ceilings, large windows and a fireplace. At the time, she also decked the place out in a lot of gold details because I'm sure that was all the rage. And then she decorated the dining room herself too. From old listing materials, we can see the home was left a bit outdated and apparently didn't complete the full renovation. Maybe that's why more recently the spacious house was last priced at a less than impressive 125k. Sounds like a deal. Other features of Fantasia's previous mini mansion included two master suites, one with a black jacuzzi tub in the ensuite, more fireplaces throughout, and an exterior balcony. Elsewhere on the property, there was a swimming pool and spa, as well as an additional pool house. Well, what happened to that home we just looked at was all types of unfortunate for Fantasia. Don't worry. She still had another 4,600 square foot luxury home to fall back on and only two miles away. It may have been a slight step down from Glenmore Lakes, but not by much as it was a two story brick home boasting fancy features. There was a screened in porch with marble tiled floors and a wooden roof perched on half an acre of rolling grass and trees. This house was still on the Piper Glen Golf Course and offered four bedrooms plus two bonus rooms and an additional bed that was converted into a walk-in closet. This home, built in 1996, had bright and airy interiors throughout, as well as 3.5 baths, master bath, even coming with a sauna. Fantasia bought this house in 2004 for $740,000, and in 2018, when she decided to move on from it, dropped down to 479K. Reportedly, this bargain price reflects the need for renovations to the home, and listing materials explained it was a unique opportunity to redo and make it your own. Inside, Fantasia could choose to spend her time in the music room or get glammed up in her bright pink bedroom turned walk-in closet. The master suite was black walled and had casino style carpeting, which was pretty unique. The modern kitchen was finished with stainless steel details and red cabinets, another bold choice, and nearby the formal dining room was light filled thanks to windows all around. Other features included a breakfast nook, a stair landing that was converted to a lounge, and family room with fireplace. Unfortunately, despite the gorgeous gardens and space to relax on the property, this home didn't have a swimming pool like the last one, and in the end, Fantasia sold the place for $465,000. While we don't officially know the details on Fantasia's exact home now, it seems that even though she sold the last house in 2018, she's still happily living in Charlotte. From her daughter's Instagram, her own Instagram, and other clips, we know she doesn't stray too far from her home. Thanks to social media, we can catch glimpses at what it's like to live in Fantasia's family abode. Her large tan shingled residence is located in a stately neighborhood with traditional vintage looking cast iron street lamps lamps and perfectly trimmed hedges. Outdoors, she has a deep pool that lights up at night, giving off enchanting sea green hues. The surrounding patio area boasts wicker furniture and two covered lounges. We can see this house is decidedly more modern with a lot of white malls, marble floors, and super contemporary fireplaces. In this room, there's even a fireplace built into the wall, which is made of marble itself. And this fireplace is bigger than any I've ever seen. Different textures of whites, blacks, and golds are the order of the day inside Fantasia's house. There are white carpets accenting other rooms in her home, and there's also a white marbled indoor jacuzzi where her family prepared her Mother's Day celebration one year. We can see how much Fantasia adores her stunning home, even taking to DIY projects like freshening up the space by completing her own paint job, an activity which the star actually found to be therapeutic. I totally relate to that, and I love DIY myself. Outside, she can also unwind in her pool or spa, which she posted on Instagram as well. Finally, because you're probably wondering how Fantasia keeps so fit, it seems she works out in her at-home gym, complete with an exercise bike and weights. 
Not to mention, the queen takes her workouts outside when the weather permits. We can see how she's killing it. After checking out Fantasia's homes and family life, that will bring today's house tour to a close. But before we wrap things up, answer this question for me. If you made it big at a young age, how would you invest your money first? Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to hit subscribe and turn on your notifications so you never miss a video. Follow me on Instagram to chat and I'll see you all in another one. Bye.